Hello Zimbabwe, I'm Munya from National Tested Seeds, your agronomist of choice. With me here is Tinashe Road and Kudzai. So these guys are a Chechu farm, they are doing a variety of oat Pluto. So Pluto is a hybrid. As you can see, it's, it's, it's of high quality and it's tan in color. Generally, Pluto is, is dark green and vigorous. It is much vigor. So today, we are witnessing it at, at, at five week stage. So with me here, uh, Tinashe Rodney is the one who is in charge together with Kudzai. They have been producing it in different stages. Uh, tell us more about uh, uh, this variety, how it has been performing to you and what is the advantage of growing it over OPV. We have been doing this variety since uh, October 2020. Um, up to date, we planted about 20 hectares. I have to say it's really been an amazing journey. Um, it's good to know that uh, you are fighting diseases, but you also have a variety in the field, which is also helping you in the fight. Uh, I tell you, this variety has been quite resistant uh, to powder mildew, um, despite the rains and the hot weather conditions, which actually promote the development of the fungal infection. But it's been really, really, really strong, and it's one of the um, diseases of economic importance when it comes to uh, to growing butternut. So I'm pretty happy with, uh, with with the resistant package of this variety, Pluto, and also uh, the way that uh, it actually bears its own fruits. Um, it, it it really never never gives up. Okay, so at this stage, um, our crop is like uh, five weeks old now. And uh, as you can see, it has got um, a very dark green color, as, as Munya mentioned, mentioned earlier on. And you can see it's already flowering and uh, it's got uh, fruits already on it. So now, at this, uh, at this point in time, we are mainly worried about ensuring um, maximum pollination as well as fighting uh, fruit fly which is quite troublesome when it comes to, 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 to growing of our cucubits. So here in this field, we actually have got uh, traps that have got pheromone that attract the, the, the tutors and, 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 and kill them. Then we, also, we are also doing uh, a, a co-spray of, uh, for baiting so that uh, we, 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 we minimize damage to, to, to our crop by the, by the pathogen. Also at this stage, we come in with our, with our mulching. Uh, we use mulch so that uh, we, we, we suppress our development of weeds as well as improving soil temperatures which at the end of the day uh, increases our reaction within, within the soil and absorption of, 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 of nutrients so that we, we make, make sure that we've got as many fruits as possible and they grow as big uh, as, as needed. The thing as you can see it is a very bushy canopy which covers uh, the whole area so this means uh, you will not have struggle with weeds so when it becomes bushy it, it covers the whole ground so these weeds won't have uh, space to grow. So this cuts on, on your on your on your weeding coat. So already, if you are doing Pluto, you know you have a vigorous a vigorous plant and a dense crop as well. So the dense crop uh, is highly productive because the green color is the fake for the whole for the whole plant. Okay. Uh, so here, um, we are actually mainly focused on make sure that uh, we get the best of yield. So for us to, to get that. Um, we introduce uh, the use of bees. If you look at the end of the fields, they actually behind that are there so that they supply as much bees as possible to the field. And also to attract the bees from the hives into the field. We've actually planted this marigold uh, which acts uh, as an attractive field. So we've got some here at the, at, the, at the edge of the field, we've got some at the middle of the field and more at the edge of the field so that uh, they can actually be as, from, to, uh, to as far as possible uh, in, uh, in, in the field. Uh, our yield is mainly determined by the number of fruits of uh, the plant. So now, for us to get as many fruits as possible, we have to make sure that we maximize on, uh, on, on pollen uh, through the use of bees and, and this marigold. And just to, to, to add on to what Rodney has been saying, uh, one other thing which is very pertinent uh, towards achieving a high yield is fighting against powder removal. If you can beat powder removal, it means you are off the high yield. Uh, so from here, um, after harvesting them from the field, uh, we actually use sucker tours to detach the plants, the, the fruits from the plants. Then uh, we carry them with sex to this, uh, this uh, uh, sorting point. So here they are being graded, um, the damaged one and those ones that are not in good shape, they are selected out. And those that are actually qualify for the market, they are wiped with, uh, with, with wet cloth that actually have got benoming so that they take care of uh, any post-harvest fungal infections. And from there they are allowed to dry and then they are packed into the sacks which are actually which are then fitted into these trailers uh, to the to, to the pack shed. So here we are ladies and gentlemen. After all has been said and done, this is the final product. Tell us more about uh, uh, the 
procedure of uh, post post harvest and post end. Uh, I'm Kudzai. Uh, on our post service, uh, most of uh, the operations and the process flows start in the field uh, to avoid uh, too much handling for for our, for our bananas. So uh, our banana has been treated with the benamine uh, to increase uh, its shelf life and to and uh, it is a curative uh, fungicide. So these bananas we cut off these these attachments for about two centimeters for them so that they will not bruise each other in these pockets. Much of the process has been done in the field to avoid uh, too much handling. So we weigh these pockets uh, on our scales. We've got uh, 10 kg uh, and 8, uh, 8 kg pockets. And there's in this marsh in this shed. As we have witnessed as well, our um, bananas have got a longer shelf life. After weighing them into these pockets, uh, we palletize them as you can see. Then we just make them ready for, for dispatch. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for following. From your agronomist from National Test with Seeds Munya, Rodney, Kudzai. For best bananas, plant with National Test with Seeds, your seed of champions. Everyone, see the champions!